హలో ఎవరిగా మై నమ్మి జీ నాగబాల్ సుబ్రహ్మణ్యం ఐఎమ్ స్టడింగ్ ఈసీ అట్ వివిఐట్ కాలేజ్ గుంటూరు మై రోల్ నెంబర్ ఇస్ ట్వంటీ బీ క్యూ వన్ ఎయిట్ జీరో ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ టుడే ఆ టాపిక్ ఇస్ అబౌట్ లిస్ట్ కంపారిజన్స్ విత్ పైథాన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లిస్ట్ కంపారిజన్స్ లిస్ట్ ఏ లిస్ట్ ఈజ్ ఏ సిమిలర్ టు ఎరేస్ దట్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఐటమ్స్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ ఈజ్ ఏ నారే కెన్ స్టోర్ ఓన్లీ వన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎలిమెంట్ వేర్ యాజ్ ఏ లిస్ట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ to create a list as putting difference commas separated values between square brackets creating a list using square brackets to indicate the start and the end of the list and separate the items by commas for example list 1 physics chemistry 1997 2000 are in the brackets then becomes a list like that list 2 we get 1 2 3 4 5 values and the list 3 with alphabets a b c d in brackets Compared to strings indices, in list indices start at 0 and the list can be sliced, concentrated and so on. And we create an empty list like uh, the empty list is in the form closed brackets. It is the list equivalent of 0 or null. Printing a list. Uh, we can print a list by taking L value as 1, 2, 3 and print L. Uh, we get the output like uh, closed brackets 1, 2, 3. It is in the listed form. Creating a data type. How we create a data type by given contain all kinds of things even other lists for example the following is valid list closed brackets of 1 comma 2.718 abc 5 and the inner list 567 accessing values in the list use the square brackets for slicing along with the index or indices to obtain values that the given index negative indexing minus 7 minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and positive indexing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we take a student with roll number 556 5, and with name Mohit and he got the marks 84, 96, 84, 75 and 84. We take the student with the given 556 5, Mohit 84, 96, 84, 75, 85 in the online compiler we get the student with the roll number 456 and name Balu. And later I take the marks with 84, 96, 84, 75 and 84. Now I have to print the print the student that gives the whole data of the student. And I have to print the statement of student of 0. It gives the first value that is the roll number 456 of the student. And we have to print the statement of 0 column Two, it gives uh, the first 0, 1, 2 values that means 456 balu 84 and later I have to print the statement uh, 2 column that gives the statement of uh, first 2 and uh, printing of student uh, column 3 it gives the last 3 values and print statement of uh, column it gives the values of all the student and print statement of uh, minus 1 gives the last value of the given student value and print statement of student with minus 1 minus 7 and minus 1 gives first value seventh value and first value the print statement of student column column minus 1 gives the student values with reverse order this is the output we get and this is the inputs and outputs we get as per the given values that we accessing by the compiler to the program 456 value is stored in the 0 and minus 7 and balu is stored in the 1 and minus 6 and 84 is stored in the 2 and minus 5 96 is stored in 3 and 4 and 84 is stored in the 4 and minus 3 75 is stored in 5 and minus 2 84 is stored in the 6 and minus 1 as per these values the print statement will work the given statements of printing statement will be printed as per the give coming output later we discuss about similarities between strings and lists there are a number of things which work the same way for list as uh, for the strings here len the number of items in l is given by len of l it and in the in operator tells you if a list containing something here are some examples if 2 in l print your list contains the number 2 or if uh, 0 not in L, print your list has no 0 values. Later, 
the indexing and slicing is what exactly as with strings for example l of 0 is the first item of the list l and l of 3 gives the first three items index and account these methods work as the same as they are do for strings. L dot index of x returns the first location of x in L and I minus 1 if x is not in low L and L dot count of x returns how many items x appears in L and plus and multiplication the plus and plus operator adds one list to the end of the another. Multiplication operator repeats a list. Here are some examples we see on the online GDP. A equal to 1, 2, 3 are taken in a list form and B equal to 4, 5, 6. These are also taken in a listed forms. We take C variable with the combination of A plus B. Now for A plus B gives the 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6 and we have to print the statement with C and take the fourth variable D to the multiplication operator 2 into A that gives the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 with the printing statement printed D. We get the output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as C and the output 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 with the D. That means we get the in and a multiplication operator. The membership operator. Membership in list we can check if the element in a member of list by using in or not in operator. First we see they are taking a variable L with the list 4, 7, 2, 8, 9 and we have to take the if condition and apply condition 2 in L and that L value is stored as 4, 7, 2, 8, 9. We have to print 2 found in the list like this 2 found in list we see and we get if else statement with 2 doesn't have in the list print 2 not found in the list then we run this program we get 2 found in the list as we have 2 in the list and we clear the 2 and enter 5 in place of 2 we get 2 not found in the list later as we see here 2 with the 2 not in found and later we check the list methods append of x adds x to the end of the list sort of gives the short the list count of x returns the number of items x occur in the list index of x returns the location of the first occurrence of x reverse it reverses the list and remove x removes first occurrence of x from the list pop of p removes the item at the index p and returns the its value insert p comma x insert x at index p of the list del l of column 2 gives the deletes the first two numbers thanks for watching